Good afternoon. It is 4 p.m. here in South Korea. I am at Iran News. AI anchor, Ari. The finance ministers of South Korea, the United States and Japan have acknowledged serious concerns regarding the rapid decline in the value of the South Korean won and Japanese yen against the dollar. Following their first trilateral meeting in Washington on Wednesday, South Korea's Finance Minister Choi sang mo U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen and Japan's Finance Minister Shinichi Suzuki issued a joint statement outlining their commitment to regular consultations on foreign exchange market trends and continued collaboration to promote sustainable economic growth and financial stability. The South Korean government's debt-to-gross domestic product ratio is expected to reach close to 60 percent by 2029 having already exceeded 50 percent for the first time in 2021. That's according to the International Monetary Fund's Fiscal Monitor report released on Wednesday, which includes the debt-to-GDP ratio from 2015 to 2029 in 37 advanced countries, including South Korea, the United States, and Japan. The report says South Korea's debt-to-GDP ratio hit 55.2% in 2023, a 1 1.4 percentage point increase from the year before. The UN agency also estimated that South Korea's debt will reach 56.6% this year and will continue to increase, hitting 59.4% in 2029. A senior Pentagon official says the U.S. is continuously improving its mainland defense system to counter threats from North Korea. John Plum, the U.S. Assistant Secretary of Defense for Space Policy explained this week that Washington's ground-based mid-course defense system is designed to protect the homeland, including Guam, against ICBM threats from Pyongyang. He added that the Pentagon is constantly improving and upgrading the performance of the defense system while developing its next-generation interceptor. He also pointed out that North Korea and Iran are sharing resources and technology to expand missile capabilities. International oil prices are coming back down as fears over geopolitical tensions in the Middle East slowly abate. June futures for Brent crude oil, the global benchmark, were down by over 3 percent to 87 U.S. dollars 29 cents per barrel as of Wednesday. It's the first time in four trading days that prices have dropped below $90, as the market discounted the risk of a high-turn Israel-Iran conflict affecting supply chains amid international calls for restraint. U.S. crude oil futures for May were also down, closing at $82.69 per barrel, the lowest since March 27. The 60 Biennale, ARTA 2024, will take place from April 20 to November 24 in Venice, Italy. A pre-opening of the exhibition kicked off on Wednesday for a three-day run. In this iteration of the Biennale, four Korean artists, including sculptors and painters, have been invited to exhibit their works. The most since 2003, the four focus on social issues and minorities. Matching the theme of this exhibition, Foreigners Everywhere, the celebration of international art was inaugurated in 1895, and this year artists from 80 countries will be participating. A Korean pavilion was first built in 1995, and a special exhibition will also be held to commemorate the 30th anniversary of this event. That is all for today. Thanks for watching.